Hello, this is the colored events calendar template at SharePoint-Boards.com. As you can see in the preview, this allows you to take a standard out-of-the-box modern SharePoint calendar and color the events according to a choice field. We're going to walk through all of the steps required. First of all, I'm going to go into my SharePoint Online site and I'm going to make a new list. I'm simply going to call it Event Calendar. Okay, once I've created my list, I need to make some fields. I'm going to add fields for the start and end. So I'll do date and time and next and I'll call the first one start that's the date and time field we do need to include the time and we do want to make it a required field next column is going to be end that's another date and time field call that end date and time include time and I do want to make it required Additionally, I'm going to add a column which is going to be a choice column which is special for our template. So one more column, this will be a choice field. I'm going to name this field category. And then I will go ahead and do some options. Just to match up with my uh, template options, I'm going to go ahead and do deadline, event, meeting, presentation, and other. Now these colors are not going to be used in what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those um, because that would not work. So I'll simply say no styles and then I'm all set. So that's just a standard choice field. I want to make no default value and I also want to make sure that this field is required. Okay, now I've got all the events that I want. Let's go ahead and put in some dummy events now that I've got that set. So we'll go into grid view and we'll do um, sales conference. And let's go ahead and say that's starting on today. And we'll say at 8 a.m. And then the end time for that is going to be on the 13th. And we'll say that's going to end at 5 p.m. This category is going to be event. I'll do two more events just for demonstration purposes. Um, we'll do company retreat and we'll make that the 17th through the 21st this one's going through the 21st we'll say 5 p.m. I'll make this one I want it to look different than my other one so I'll do meeting and then we'll do um, office cleaning, do that in the following week, the 24th. And then I'll go through the 28th. I'll put that in the category of other. Okay, so we've got some dummy values in there. Now, we need to go ahead and create this calendar view. So I need to go up to my view selector and do create new view. 
and I'm going to select calendar. And I recommend that you set the default layout for month calendar. You need to map your start and end fields, and then you can uh, allow it to be a public view. And that's correct. We want the title of items on the calendar match the title field. And then I need a name for it. I can simply call it calendar view. Okay, there is our unformatted calendar view. Now, I can come back over to my template and we should be all matched up. You do need to provide the name of the choice field which is going to be used for mapping colors. In my case, I called that category. And then you can set a default value for the selected event color. I'm going to stick with the black choice, but you can have the selected event be whichever color you want. As you can tell, that just highlights the item that's selected. So I copy the template, follow the directions in the pop-up window, and then come over to Calendar View and Format Current View, go to Advanced Mode, select All, Paste, and Save. And now you can see I've got colored events. If I click on the event, you can see it uses the selected item color that's also from the template. Another thing worth noting is that the week view is configured independently. In other words, if I look at this view, you don't see any of the formatting on that yet. That's easy to remedy. You can just go into the week view Format the current view, advanced mode, select all, and paste, and save. And the template that you've used um, can be it, um, used in both situations. So you, as you can tell, the color formatting is there. There you go. So that is everything you need to know in order to use this colored events template on SharePoint calendars. If you do not yet have SharePoint dashboards templates, you can get a login for 20 free templates at SharePointDashboards.com. Good luck.